What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Bulls Gaming and Tech channel and today we are going to go over some things that will help your Tesla be more fuel efficient. Now most of this stuff is going to apply for most of the models but for today, for the purpose of today's video, we're going to keep it to the Model 3 and the Model Y. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get into it and as always, subscribe, share, like, comment, and hit that bell for notifications and let's get it! All right, you guys, so first things first, if you want to get the most amount out of your battery and your range on your vehicle, as you guys know, I have the standard range plus. So this could apply if you have the long range or the standard range plus. But the first obvious thing is to keep the aero wheel covers that come on the tires. If you didn't upgrade your rims, keep those on there. They're more aerodynamic and they will help you get more out of your battery and a little bit more range. Uh, I've been driving without the air wheel covers on my wheels and I've noticed that it's not that much of a difference as far as range and battery life. One tidbit of advice I would give you guys is if you're driving through the city, put your car in cruise control. If you put your car in cruise control and you're letting your car navigate on its own and you have it also on that hold setting for the regenerative braking, you really won't have any range issues when you take off the air wheel caps. So if you like the rim that comes under there, but you're still worried that oh, I know I'm going to lose range if I take it off. From my experience, uh, I took them off. I've been driving throughout the city in cruise control. So it's going uh, the speed limit is slowing down and speeding up when it's supposed to kind of reading other cars. And I have it in that hold setting. I haven't had that much of an issue or any issue at all with taking those air wheel covers off. But if you want to be safe rather than be sorry and you're kind of worried about that, just leave the arrow wheels on. I do like how the rim looks under it and I like uh, this little rim cap that I got for it with that red Tesla logo. So I want to show off my rim. So if you want to extend that range, leave the arrow wheel caps on. Another thing you guys can do is you can see I got my windows tinted. Okay, that is probably the biggest thing to help save your battery. Okay, if you live in a hot area, you need to get your windows tinted. All this glass is just absorbing all that heat that's coming from outside and getting your windows tinted, reducing that heat that kind of penetrates your car definitely helps with the battery because if you sit your car out in the sun too long, if you're in an extremely cold area or if you're in an extremely hot area, you guys know I'm in Florida, that definitely will impact your battery, okay? So if you want to extend that range, definitely, definitely, definitely get your windows tinted, reduces the heat that comes into the car, that penetrates the car, and it will definitely help with your range. I've had my windows tinted for about five days, and I've noticed that it definitely helps as far as keeping me cool in the car. And also with uh, the Tesla app, you can see the interior temperature climate of your vehicle and i've noticed it's been a lot lower since i've got my windows tinted so all right guys like i've already said leaving your braking or the stopping mode in hold as you can see it says maximizing range by extended by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends and braking to hold the vehicle at a stop this is what you want to do to get the max out of that regenerative braking leave that on it will definitely put the energy back into your battery you'll see when you're driving it'll be up here actually when you're letting your foot off the accelerator or pressing the brake you will see uh, instead of it going this way the meter it will go this way into the green and that's putting that power back into your battery all right you guys another thing you can do I know it sounds so simple so regular but if you go to speed limit or close to the speed limit you won't have any issues with burning that battery faster than it needs to be burned so Go to speed limit, obviously if you go higher, obviously you increase that speed, you get to the highway speeds, you're going 70, 80, or even 60. Um, that's gonna obviously use more energy and burn that battery a little bit more, so go to speed limit. All right, another thing you're probably not thinking of is software updates. If you put your software updates on advance, you will get the most recent software update as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. You do that software update, usually sometimes those updates will give you a extended range uh, as far as just the capabilities of the battery. It's not going to be much. It's not going to be anything like 20 miles or anything like that. It's probably going to be like one or two miles and that's not going to come often. But having your software update setting to advance, you will constantly get the updates whenever they shoot them out over the air. And if there is a range increase update in there, you will see that difference in range. You might not see it <laughs> visually, but 
you'll definitely get it. And like I said, it's only gonna be about one or two miles here and there. All right, you guys, and the last thing you can do is what I mentioned in my other video, charging your battery not to 100% every time you charge. Tesla recommends that you charge your battery to 90% daily uh, in, in that range, uh, just to make the battery last longer. Um, so do not charge your battery all the way to 100% every day. Only do that seriously if you're going on trips and I would limit that to long trips. If you're going maybe 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away, heck, maybe even an hour, um, all the Teslas can make it there with just 90% charge. You don't need to charge 100% for that. But if you're going on a long, long road trip, maybe um, two hours or longer, I would say charge to 100% in those situations. Um, shoot, maybe even two and a half, two and a half hours or longer. Charge to 100%. Uh, but if you're going anything shorter than that, just leave it to that 90%. You'll be fine. Um, like I said, if you're extremely cold area or extremely hot area, uh, you might need to charge up a little bit more because the environment is going to drain a little bit more out of that battery. But 90%, it should be a nice, sweet spot. You'll be good. All right, you guys. So that's going to do it for the video for today. Like I said, these are just tips to extend that battery life to get the most out of your, your Tesla. And if you do have the standard range plus, these tips, you know, these are like freaking the Bible to you. You gotta use these tips, make that range last as much as it can, make that battery last as long as it can. Um, but as always, if you guys are ordering a Tesla or thinking about ordering a Tesla, why not help yourself out? Use that referral link below in the description you'll get 1,000 free supercharger miles and I'll get 1,000 free supercharger miles. It's a win-win, everybody wins. And as always, you know we are on that race to 1K subs by the end of June. I know we can make it happen. You guys have been liking the videos, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. So if you know someone who's interested in the content or you're interested in the content and you just haven't committed yet, you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, help a brother out. We're on that race to 1K subs by the end of June. It's almost the end of June. So let's make it happen. I know it's a big jump, a big leap, but I believe we can make it happen. You guys have been supporting the video. So as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Let's get it.